as you and I've known each other over the years, you continue to focus on this concept of culture. Well, listen, it goes, I'll try and be more succinct this time. Uh, but I'm even more I'm even more passionate about this because I would tell you that the reason we are where we are as a company, both from you know the origins 102 years ago, but also from my time in the last 14 years here, was culture. If you say, well, what was the secret sauce? Well, the secret sauce initially was this guy Conrad Hilton founded this company on a noble premise that he said, I want to, I think I can make the world a better place. Like, and he was one of the first truly international business people, you know, that said, boy, if I can make a safe, comfortable place for people to travel all over the world, you know what will happen? They'll, they'll go, they'll travel, they'll experience cultures, they'll get to know each other better, and it will lead to some, some, in some way, shape or form to greater peace in the world, because the more people understand each other and respect each other's cultures, um, that understanding will, will lead to good things. That's sort of the premise upon which this incredible company was founded. What I would say is, it's a longer story, but when I got here 14 years ago, let's just say we had gotten away from that founding principle and we had become more of a holding company that did a lot of you know, financial engineering transactions and, and a lot less about culture. So when Blackstone called me because I knew Hilton from the outside looking in, I said, listen, I, I know what's wrong with it because I've been competing with them and you know, dealing with them. I mean, it's all, I mean, we have a lot of things to do on cost structure and growth and all, but the first thing that we need to do is blow up the culture and rebuild it, but not blow it up in the sense of away from what its founding principles was, reconnect it to those founding principles, blow up what existed in the moment. And so we did it. I mean, it's a long story, but it worked. We rebuilt the culture. You know, probably the thing I'm, you know, we're, we're a, a service industry. A people, a pe you know, a business of people serving people, 400 and, you know, 50,000 of them. It's probably the thing I'm most proud of in my time here um, that we've accomplished. We're the number one great place to work in the United States of America, two years running, and the number two great place to work in the world, two years running. That's hard to do. That is. Wow. And and so that if you think about, like, what's been the alpha of this business, it's culture. So everything is about culture. Then fast forward. So we get here you know, a year ago, and the world is blowing up all around us. We're having to furlough probably, sadly, 60% of our global workforce, you know, significant, ultimately led to significant reductions in force. And, you know, for those team members of mine that are watching this, you know, I, I hope they would agree, but certainly my sense and all our pulse surveys would say this. I, I would say our, our culture is even stronger in a funny way. We leaned on it hard, like when you build a culture, because that is how you are resilient in a difficult time. If you have nothing to lean on, then everybody, you know, all the spokes start flying off the wheel. But we had a, we had really nurtured our people and our culture, created a really family, family like environment. And so even though we had to do all these tough things, people understood that it was necessary to protect the business to protect the greatest number of people to get to get the business to the other side. And when I talk to folks and I talk to thousands, tens of thousands of them, and we pull them, we, we do, we're not light on data. I think, I mean, and, and the great place to work data, you know, that, that's come out, you'll see. I mean, it suggests that, you know, people have more, are more engaged in our organization than they were, even though they were very engaged and, are, and, are, and trust their leaders broadly more. And so, you know, I, it's all been about the culture. I mean, in COVID, it, you know, it's about, it was about, it was about leaning on it, but, but, and, and, and a whole, you know, a little bit different uh, take on it, but everything we've accomplished and what our ability to get through the last year has been because we have really invested in our culture. 